Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to localize your iOS app. First up, I'm uh, on an iOS 9 app and I'm using Xcode uh, 7.1. So, like any other software, if you're using other versions, uh, the procedure may or may not be uh, different. Okay, let's get to it. Um, uh, First up, you want to uh, select your project up here, and you want to go in and select your project here. And under localizations, you're going to add a new localization and choose the language that you're going to um, translate it to. I'm going to choose Danish, and uh, it's going to show you which files it has found that uh, that can be um, localized. Okay, so I'll just add them here. And uh, now you'll see that your uh, storyboard files have, uh, have gained this arrow here and you can expand it to see uh, strings that are Danish. And it has already uh, found all the, uh, all the strings that you put on the storyboard uh, in this file. And what you do here is basically you just uh, start uh, translating. So I know that create room will be a part room, and you do this for all your uh, labels here. But uh, unfortunately, it isn't as easy to do for the code, the hard code at the strings that inside your code. So what you want to do here is that you want to um, you'll need to to open up your your code and find these strings. So if you haven't, uh, so if you haven't um, uh, thought about localizing your project uh, and it's grown big, then this will be uh, kind of a long procedure. If you just put strings, uh, English strings inside of your code deep within your code, so you have to go through them all. So. Uh, let's just find something here. Just choose this one up here. So it says no nearby rooms, and of course I want that to be uh, translated to Danish. So what I'll have to do is that I want to um, pass this to NS uh, localized string, and uh, the first parameter is just the English or the base language. You can have any language for your base language, and the comment is. Uh, well, I can just read Apple's documentation about it, but it's mainly to give give any external translator an idea about what this string, in what context this string is being uh, presented. Um, you have to think about that maybe this external translator don't know your app, don't know the, the domain of your app, so it can be a good idea to, to put some kind of comment uh, here. Uh, so the comment here could be like something uh, warning message that no rooms uh, are nearby. Okay, so what to do now? And I think I'm uh, actually think that I'm going to get an error here. So just follow me. I'm going to choose the uh, top level project here, and I'm going to choose uh, under the editor. Uh, export for localization and uh, I'm going to choose Danish and I'm just going to drop it on the desktop and let's just call it Danish um, okay no error this time so by doing this you get this file that uh, contains uh, not only all the things that you had on your storyboard and you can see I have this um, create room which I translated to opat room in Danish so what you will have uh, any external translator or yourself to do is just to um, find uh, all the sources and target and just translate the uh, the words here. So like uh, the source is choose row and in Danish it would be vel uh, all. Okay, and uh, this is all for the storyboard. But uh, if you scroll down, you will see that the um, the string that we pass to uh, the string that we pass to 
and its localized string is also in here. And uh, as you can see here, there is no target, so you have to <clears throat> add that yourself. Uh, there's probably some kind of software that you can use for this kind of stuff, so you don't have to manually go through, but uh, you can just search for source and find all the places that there isn't a target. So here I would just uh, translate it to in Rominahan. And you can see that the note uh, is also here, which is good if you, you're giving this file to another external uh, translator. Okay, So save the file and then you just uh, again go in, choose your project and choose import localization. And you choose the file, you can just edit it, and you can see here what uh, what different things have been changed. So here you can see that before there were no translation for no nearby rooms, but now there is. And on the, the storyboard you can see that uh, down is translated to nil, and also uh, choose role to vel role. So just choose import and uh, it will automatically create these files if they aren't uh, uh, created already and you can see that it just contains the direct translation here and uh, what you want to do now is that you want to ensure that you're running the code under the correct scheme so just say uh, edit, edit scheme up here and you can choose what application language that you're going to show. Let's just choose Danish for now. And uh, fire. But I'm back and I just fired up the app here in the emulator. And uh, as you can see, the translated uh, Operat Rum uh, text up here is injected into it. But of course, there's a lot of the app that hasn't been translated yet. So you have to do that for every string. Um, but of course there's more to it uh, localizing your app than just text. Um, dates need to be different whether you're in uh, the United States or you're in Denmark or where you are in the world. And uh, maybe even um, stuff like images and uh, yeah, numbers uh, uh, in general. So, uh, but you have to look that up yourself. I just say thank you for watching this video, which will at least get you started on localizing your app. Okay, bye.